Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to repair and restore Windows 10. Now, there's quite a few different tools built into Windows 10, which you can use to try to attempt to repair on it and restore it back to a working state. So I thought I'd go through some of these and give you some explanation on how to use them and what they're for. So first off, let's open up the command prompt here by typing CMD in search and run this as administrator. So the first one we're going to be taking a look at is check disk that's C H K D S K. So the first one we'll do is C H K D S K at space forward slash F space C colon. And that is going to scan the C drive. And what it's going to do is find and fix problems with files and uh, system files. So it's going to try to fix those. It will ask you to reboot the system. So we're going to click Y for yes here. And then what happens is when we restart, uh, check this will scan the entire hard disk to find errors and uh, system file errors and try to rectify those for you now you can also use another command with check disk which i'll show you in a second and that basically will scan for bad sectors as well and errors and things like that so on the reboot you'll get this pop up here and you can see it's fixing stage two it'll go through the different stages that it's going to try to fix and basically let that run through and then it will get back to the desktop and, and hopefully uh, it will rectify all of the problems that you may be having. So it's a good starting block for checking for problems with your system. Now you could also do chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r and then space c colon and that will check the c drive uh, and do a proper uh, fix for those errors and also scan for bad sectors as well. So that's another uh, check you can do. Okay, so let's get this back to the desktop here and then we can run another check and I'll just show you another one we can do. So you can right click on any drive here and go to properties. And also while you're in here, you can go to the tool section. Inside the tool section, you'll see some error checking which you can run a check from and it will give you a little check here. And it normally tells you your drive doesn't need to be scanned if your drive is in good working order. But you can just scan a drive if you want to just ignore that. You can use that method. Now, you can also do just a check on a drive by just doing CHK DSK and just push enter. And don't do any sort of repair or any fix on it. And if you push enter here, it will give you some information. You can see here uh, the F parameters not been uh, specified and it will just give you some information about any sort of bad sectors and uh, information about that on the drive as well now if you want to do the uh, bad sector check you can also do chk dsk space forward slash r space c colon and then click y for yes and that will reboot the system again and that will check uh, for bad sectors clusters of data that cannot be read and what it will try and do is it will either try to repair uh, that area or it will try to tell the system uh, not to use that sector and mark it as unreadable and basically that's how that's going to work so you can run that there but normally when you start getting bad sectors on a drive it's really best to start considering replacing that drive so let me just let this uh, countdown go and we'll see what that looks like here looks very similar to the uh, check disk uh, f and you can see it's doing a fix and it'll go through a bunch of checks here okay so next up we're going to be talking about the sfc system file checker now you can do verify only if you wish and this will work in a similar way as uh, chk dsk check disk basically without any sort of switches on the end it will just verify by just putting verify only now if windows programs are crashing or you're getting error messages or dll files are missing or blue screen of death or any sort of issues like that with your system now what system file checker is going to do is perform a full scan of your system and repair and replace any missing files or damaged files on the system and using versions from your windows component store and you can also use your windows uh, cd as well or usb flash drive with windows files on it as well now, also, you can see here SFC space forward slash scan, as we've uh, mentioned already. This will do that scan. And when it's finished, you will get one of these free messages at the 
end of it it will say windows resource protection did not find any integrity violations or you'll get windows resource protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them or you'll get windows resource protection found corrupt files and was unable to fix some of them one of those you will get at the end of the sfc space forward slash scan now um, scan so once you finish that that's one of the messages that you'll get now, moving on to the next one here, we're going to go to uh, CMD here in the search box and run this as administrator. And we're going to be running the next set of scans, which you can do, which are to do with DISM. So we can do the DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash check health. This will check the health of the system image. It doesn't take too long to run this scan. And it will report whether the image is in healthy um, state and whether it's repairable or whether it's non-repairable. Uh, if the image is non-repairable, you should discard that image and start again. You can also use Restore Health to try and uh, repair that image. There's also the other command which you can do, which is dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash scan health. And uh, basically, this will just run a scan and check for corruption and things like that on the system. So you can run this uh, scan as well. Now, there is also a repairable uh, type of scan you can do, which is the Restore Health one, which I'll show you uh, now. So to repair a Windows image, you will need to run this command, which is the dism uh, space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health and you would run this command and basically what it will do is uh, try to repair uh, that image for you now also there's a couple of other commands you can run which are to run a repair of the image offline and also online and i'll put those up on the screen right now but basically you might need to tweak those to suit your needs but basically that's what you would be doing to repair it offline or online and those are the commands there for you. So I'm not going to go through those too much because they do take a fair bit of time, but this is the other command which I'm just showing you here, which you can run to restore health of the image. And once that is completed, you should see the uh, restore operation completed successfully, the operation completed successfully there, and there was no problems. And that is probably the most common uh, commands which you can use to repair and restore Windows 10. Now, if you're having other issues, you can go into the update and security area and recovery, and you will see go back to a previous version of Windows 10. Now, if you've gone past the 10 days which is allowed, you won't be able to roll back, but there's always a risk when rolling back uh, to a previous version of an update. And I don't like to use that method because I've seen it go wrong far too many times and that that's why i wouldn't advise you to use the previous version rollback on windows 10 if it was available there is other ways of going to reset this pc which is a much more viable option which says keep my files or remove everything if you did keep my files this will basically allow you to install windows over the top of windows you can see cloud download and reinstall windows you can hit that or you can hit local reinstall we're just going to go with the cloud download here and this will reset all of your settings on windows and reinstall it so if you've got any sort of windows settings that you want to do it will reset those it's going to download and reinstall windows for you you can change uh, your settings here once you've done this click next and basically what will happen is it will take a bit of time to get things ready for you and it will go through and give you another option of and tell you exactly what is going to be uh, written over so you can see resetting will change settings back to their defaults keep your personal files download and reinstall windows and remove all the apps and programs that you installed on that system so you can try this method and it gives you a couple of little notes there which you may want to uh, read i like to always back up data before i do any sort of uh, repairs like this uh, it's always best to take that um precaution in just in case something goes wrong and again it will tell you the list of apps that will be removed from the system now again there's other ways of doing this as well you can do fresh installs you can also do some other things to try and repair and restore windows 10 back to a working state but that's out of the scope of this video 
this is basically just showing you some of the things you can do. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. So thanks again for watching. Thank you to everyone that has uh, joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate it. Those people will be listed up on screen right now. Thanks very much for your support. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.